Hello, welcome back to another episode of New Star Soccer 5! Once again! Yeah, I guess we're up to like 72 or something right now. Which is kind of great actually. We're going to continue directly, we're going to jump into the first game. Then we're going to talk about a thing that happened today. A couple of episodes ago, first of all, I just want to say this. I said that, you know, oh, I bet Sweden won't take any gold medals in the Olympic Games. Right now we have like four silvers and zero bronzes. That's fucking shit. It's like every single ski race, it's like, yeah, okay, so we might win, but nah, it's okay to be second. If we don't let the Norwegians win, we can always let Kristina Kowalczyk or Darren Kolonia win, you know? <laughs> That's how it is, or a silly Norwegian, anyone but a Swede. I mean, we're always the happy second ones. Yeah, hopefully things will go better though in the future. We have some, is it half pipe? Snowboard? stuff going on today as well and as well you know the curling and the ice hockey I guess that's about our biggest hopes for gold medals yeah we did beat Czechoslovakia or <laughs> that country does not exist anymore but the Czech Republic yesterday with 4-2-2 yeah 4-2 um, so I mean oof. It was not the best game ever but as bad as the you know Czech players began the game you know, we, we could not do other you know, anything else than, you know, score four goals and then just play off the rest of the game. So that was good. Yeah. But, yeah, as I said, still no goals. Yeah! Hopefully this will not become as in which Olympic Games was it? it was Salt Lake City 2002. We took zero gold medals. That's kind of shite, actually. Yeah. And then I mean shite like shit. Because it was shit. Yeah. Um, but except for that, I mean, things are. Oops! Oh, come on! Yeah, um, I mean, five medals so far. That's not bad compared to at least the British people. You got one bronze medal. That's <laughs> that's good, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, Britain isn't really a Winter Olympics country either. So yeah, I guess it's kind of understandable that you don't have more. More medals, but I mean you were kind of spoiled in the last Summer Olympics in London, so yeah, you took a shit ton of medals there. So did Sweden compared to, you know, the size of our country, but still. Um, yeah, things could have started better, especially when it comes to the skiing. That's where, you know, you got the opportunities to take a lot of gold medals, just look at Norway. Yeah. Um, but except for that, yeah, Olympic Games seems kind of fun. I'm not watching too much. Actually, the only event that I've watched live so far is actually the ice hockey. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of maybe watching the curling as well or something like that because don't, you know, don't be silly. Curling is actually fun to watch. You know, you don't have to be Canadian to, to like it. I mean, Sweden is a gr good team as well. No, but there's many good teams and it's actually a quite interesting sport takes a lot of precision. It's not like the other sports where you know you know you need a shit ton of strength or a guilty. What do you call it? Do you call it a guilty? I don't know. When you, you know, a stamina maybe it's a better word. I mean, it takes less of that and more focus and precision, which is also really really interesting. And then you have to, you know, have some strength and stamina when it comes to the actual. Uh, scrubbing the ground or whatever you call it, you know, when you have your fucking stick and you're like <laughs> All the goddamn time. I actually did something with my hands there to visualize for myself at least. I can't visualize for you, I'm sorry. And <laughs> um, but yeah uh, Curling is a fun sport, believe it or not Watch it, especially when Sweden win. Yeah, lost Or was it? Yeah, it was in in Torino 2006 when we won the gold medal in both men's and women's curling which is fantastic um, but except for that what do we have to talk about yeah something very peculiar happened um, yesterday or this night I mean it's a couple of days ago once you see this episode I guess I'll upload one news of soccer every day so I guess it's three or four days back um, but Total Biscuit, you might remember his, you know, the Gary's incident, incident, he got another incident, yeah, he played Guys of the Wolf, and he gave it a bad review, yeah, and they decided to take it down, and he's like, yep, we got confirmation, it's the Fun Studios that took it down, um, and Fun 
Studios or the developers of the game. Uh, a couple of hours later the fun studios tweeted that nope we did not do this and if we would have done it we would have done it weeks ago not three weeks later. Um, so things seem very confused and once again YouTube's copyright things it's fucking weird. Yeah, as you you might not have heard it yet, but I got a copyright strike on my first um, first Octodad episode that I uploaded some time ago, um, which was really really weird as well. Since as you might know or don't know if I really talked about, it, I guess I talked about it in some case. Oh, sorry, goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, um, it should have been. And uh, you know the the creators of the game, and I guess it's self-published as well. Uh, was Young Horses, but then Mondo Media came out of nowhere. They are the creators of Happy Tree Friends. I guess I've talked about this already, but yeah. Uh, and they were like, nope. Um, you know this video content, uh, the picture, not the audio, but the picture. It belongs to us, so therefore we shall have all the royalties, or all the you know the monetization. They didn't take it down, but they. Try to to steal the monetization. It was kind of resolved. I, I, um, what do you call it? I I fought it and they removed the claim quite quickly. So I don't know what happened there, but still, uh, it's kind of weird. And now this happens to Total Biscuit again. If you haven't seen the old videos, then go to his channel. I think it's the if not the most vo most viewed video, it's the second most viewed video. Uh, it's called the Gary's Incident Incident. Uh, or this video no longer exists or something like that. Uh, watch it, it's really really interesting. It seems like if it's happened again, even though the studio itself, um, you know, we could denounce it, they don't, yeah, they say at least that no, we did not take down this video. And they sort of have, not proof proof, but they put up uh, a link to a an old review in the Steam Workshop, or you know, in Steam when um, actual players can can um, what are called write what they think about the game and so on, post screenshots and videos and everything, um, and they basically, yeah, they what do I say? <laughs> yeah, some guy said, you know, oh, Total Biscuit gave this a bad review. Um, you should do like those guys who made the Garris incident, um, and. They actually replied to that a couple of weeks earlier than this and said that, you know, um, no, we actually, we're okay with this, you know, Total Biscuit is the way it is, he might seem a little bit harsh from time to time, but it's the way it is, he is, and we, we accept that he didn't like our game, uh, sort of, they wrote, and they linked to that in a tweet, and they said that, you know, why would we take it down three weeks later, yes, because... Um, yes, because, yeah, just because, <laughs> why not do it directly? Um, it might be, I mean, they're not innocent just because of that, but it seems a little bit odd, uh, since Total Biscuit, you know, he actually confirmed that it was they who took down the video, or, you know, put up the strike on it, Um it might be that he put up his video, and they first, at first they thought that, you know, like, Nah, it won't affect the sales too much. I mean, it's the way it is. But then they maybe they found out that, um, you know, he, yeah, that it that actually affected the sales more than they thought. Maybe I don't know. I'm just speculating. Uh, but maybe they found out that, and then they declared decided to nope, we're removing it. You know, everything to boost the sales, sales, or at least. Um, yeah, make them increase a little bit. Maybe not call it a boost, but I mean, maybe they want to sell more. Maybe they spent a lot of money and time on that game, and they found out that that review basically, yeah, basically reduced their sales. So they maybe they became angry. Maybe they're trying to to play some sneaky game, and actually maybe they did remove the video, but they still try to pretend that they didn't or something like that. Um, but no matter what the <laughs> once again as as it's been proven many times before the the copyright system that YouTube's using it's kind of yeah it's not working properly to say the least and it's kind of bad I feel sorry for 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 Total Biscuit but as as Northern Lion said I mean I'm still glad that it's him 
Um, he didn't want to be rude, but he said that if there's anyone who actually got the the um, uh, what do you call it? got the the opportunity or the possibility to actually fight back against these this stuff, it's it's him. So I guess he's yeah, he's basically acting as those. I don't know, Canadians maybe in, in South Park movie when they were to declare war. No, it was the black people <laughs> against the Canadians. Yeah, we we're going to you know use them as shields on the tanks if I remember correctly. I haven't watched that movie in like 10 years though, so I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, maybe he's he's them taking the hit for us. Um, I don't know. It's the way it is, I guess. Um, you can't not feel sorry for him. Meanwhile, I know that he is going to basically squeeze, a squash, whatever you call it. He's going to, to <laughs> take down those developers. He's going to make another angry video about it. I guess people like maybe maybe Northern Light. He he already wrote a a note about it on his web page. Uh, maybe yeah, he and maybe Boogie and yeah, people like Angry Yo will post their videos on the situation and, and give him support as well maybe he'll get you know another monster hit due to this whole crappy situation and it's even weirder if they actually if it wasn't fun the developers who took it down then I guess he if they actually can prove it somehow that they did not do it um, more than you know linking to an old steam page then maybe yeah! he can basically shit on YouTube instead and hopefully they sooner rather than later realize that they need to change something not that it affected me but obviously it's affecting a lot of other people yeah maybe it was the band fun who made it they're like the hell they're making fun of a studio with the same name as us god damn them <laughs> and you know they start to sing their silly song which I can't even remember that people thought were so great, but I never understood why. It's like yeah, 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 da, 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 da. yeah. Set the world on fire. Is it what it's called? I think so. I don't remember. <laughs> silly song, silly band. Yeah, silly situation. Everything's silly. Fuck you. Yeah, that's basically what I thought. And you know, yeah. Let's talk about something positive instead, I guess. I mean, let's not be silly. Let's not be like Monty Python. Yeah, they would basically have this military officer walk out. If this, if YouTube was a TV show or a sketch, this is the time when, you know, the officer... Was it Graham Chapman? I think so. Which he will walk out, dress up as an officer and be like, It's silly! Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what he said after that, but... He concluded that it's silly at least and um, and yeah <laughs> that's that's what it is basically I feel sorry for for total biscuit I feel sorry for all of those affected by this crap even the de developers if it's you know obvious that they did not do anything but yet they're getting shit on because of this I feel sorry for them as well uh, but yeah I feel sorry for no I can't feel sorry for YouTube <laughs> and who do I feel sorry for more? I don't know. I feel sorry for the Swedes in the Olympic Games not taking any gold medals. But they seem pleased enough with their silvers as well. Yeah, god damn it. It would be another goddamn Salt Lake City. It's like, yeah, let's take uh, eight silvers and five bronzes, but no golds. Yes. That's fucking shit. It is. Uh, Vancouver wasn't the best Winter Olympics either, but I guess we took some goals at least. I think so. And in the um, what do you call it in Torino, we took like eight goals and like twenty to twenty-five medals in total. So it was fucking great. Um, I still remember the TV broadcasts back then. They had in the backgrounds they had like this metal table in which they just put up all medals that Sweden had won. They put them to the sides. So you basically saw it like. You know, one gold was one golden line, and one silver was one silver line, and one bronze was one silver line, and it basically took up the entire screen. <laughs> yeah! And meanwhile, as I talked about, I think it was, if not the earlier episode, an episode before that, you know, the Norwegians said, like, oh, it's not going too good in this Olympic Liker. 
Yeah, fucking silly Norwegians. Yes! Fucking silly. I guess they're not silly. They talk silly, but except for that, I guess they're okay. Yeah, if you're a Norwegian and you're watching this, you're okay. I promise you. Yeah. That's good. And you have fucking Lilyhammer, the TV series. That's a great series. And you have Pistol Shrimps. Who the fuck? <laughs> how... How is it that NRK, you know, the Norwegian uh, public broadcast company, or whatever it's called, they actually kind of pay a YouTube channel yeah! to make videos for their comedy programs. If you have not seen Pistol Shrimp, go... I mean, their most famous video, I guess, is Trolling Sauron or you can just Google or you know search for pistol shrimp on YouTube and you'll find them. And the weird thing is that the the as I said the Norwegian broadcasting company they basically use them to make sketches for some comedy program that they have, uh, <laughs> which is really really weird. I would never see that happen in Sweden. I mean we we have. Pussy for Fisker, but it's not as much, you know, sketch. It's it's kind of sketch humor, but it's more original. Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't call Pistol Shrimps unoriginal, but they take existing movies and basically yeah, do fun stuff with them. Maybe they put in Batman, or maybe they do whatever. Um, meanwhile, Pussy for Fisker, they are more like they're using special effects to make fun sketches. Um yeah, they're fun as well, but fun in a different way. I don't think they would work as well on television. I think not. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. They're making a lot of good stuff as well, though. Yeah! So that's good. Um, comedy, everybody. It's, it's fun. Unless it's, you know, so bad that it becomes fun, like the YouTube copyright system that's that's basically comedy but in a bad way yeah uh, hopefully I mean they got or well maybe maybe YouTube's please as long as they don't have to do anything they can they can let the users and the the companies shit all over each other as long as they get their money and don't get any you know legal troubles I guess <laughs> what the hell did they just do that was silly yeah, as long as YouTube doesn't have to do anything, I guess they're pleased. I guess they're happy with the situation. I guess, I guess that's how they want it to be, basically. Fucking YouTube guys. Yeah, thinking with their horses or something. I guess. Oi, oi. Oh shit! He took the ball. Yeah. Um. But we can always hope that it gets resolved sooner rather than later. I guess. Yeah. I don't know though. Anyway, spring is coming, that's good. I don't think that it will start to snow again, even though I had a dream that was like the ultimate snowstorm. And I had a fucking awesome dream as well. Remember, some episodes ago, I talked about the worst game ever that I dreamt about. Now I dreamt about like the best game ever. It was, imagine like a mix between Far Cry 3 and DayZ. That's fucking awesome. That was epic. The more I remember it, I like I woke up and like, oh shit, I need to talk about this in another episode of New Star Saga 5. And then I fell asleep again and I forgot about it until now. Yeah, you do you did like sprint jumps and everything. Um and you had it was like a big big house, storage storage house or whatever you call it. Um yeah, and basically there were some some walkways, you know, on the second stairs above the actual floor and they were kind of broken there were some zombies on the floor and then you need to jump across two big gaps to get to the other side and if you fell down you basically got hurt but also you were exploited to the zombies and they were able to attack you um, oof. and yeah so you basically you, you started running you took a big leap you managed to take the first step and you jumped to the second step and the first step actually fell down and then if you manage to miss the second step or the third, I think it was a third one as well. Yeah, if you missed some of those, uh, you couldn't basically start over. Then you had to go on the floor. So, I mean, it's like 
punishment, but it's not game over if you fail, if you understand what I mean. That was epic. And the speed, the feeling of speed in that game was like, yeah! I was just flying all over the gaps, you know, grabbing onto the ledges, being like, whoa! So that was kind of epic, actually. Yeah, if I ever become a game developer, then I will have never be able to make a game like that. But it was still awesome. It was, yeah. And that's good. So I guess we're going to round up this episode. Um, it went kind of quick, actually. I had things to talk about. I think I played three games at least. Oops, and I just had a little hiccup burp. Sort of. Let's actually do some horse racing. I guess, guess that's, you know, what we usually do in this segment of the episode. And I think, actually, that we have been playing for... Um, over 20 minutes now. It might have been three games if I remember correctly. You must beat that horse! Yeah, you must. That's good. Um, yeah, I think we've been playing for over 20 minutes. If we have not, I will just, you know, after this horse racing is done, I will cut and cut back again and we'll play another game. But if not, I'll say goodbye. And we will be done for this time and I'll see you all around again in the next episode. But let's just race Spaghetti Forgetty. Yeah. Ah, do like backseat driver, please. Be a little bit faster. Come on. Oh boy. I really need to buy a third horse. It's actually s sort of raining slash snowing outside. Kind of weird. Okay, that's not good. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the episode, and I hopefully I'll see you all around. The next episode, we're close to 10 million dollars again, that's good. Until then, goodbye.